Hi, Dyslexia Genius here. We have the motor sitting here with the little brackets I built so we can flip it back and forth. And uh, you saw why I pull the whole motor and horn assembly out to get it apart. If you take the motor out and then you try to get the lift lever out, this becomes extremely difficult. It's much easier to have it, everything sitting here so you can get it out. So now let's take a look at the motor. What we want to do first is take off the oil covers. We'll take the governor one off. And that'll just slide out like that. We'll put that little screw there. And we'll undo this one. And then the back one, because this has a strap on it. And you can just push it out of the strap like that. Make sure you have, save all the little washers. Now what we're gonna do now that we can see the whole motor, we can see the governor, we can look at everything, we go, yes, it hasn't been oiled in a long time. The felts on the governor right here look good. They're extremely dry. So now the big test. Before you pull the motor apart, you're gonna crank it up. And that's extremely light, you see that? Feels to me like it has a broken spring, and it probably does. I, you don't hear any metal working. It's, you don't hear a slip on the outside of the spring or the inside, you'll hear that metal. So what happens is, a lot of people leave motors wound up, and they just set the brake and walk away. So if you were 50 years ago, you wound this thing up, played a record, and just hit the brake and walk away, that spring's sitting there like this forever, and pretty soon something lets go. And I think that's a reason why the motor screw mounts here were all loose or missing. Somebody had come in here and looked at it, so that's what it looks like to me. So to take it apart. So there may be tension on the spring? Maybe a bit tension on the spring. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the oiling tube out. Pulls out like that. I need a bigger screwdriver. Oops. Also, when I was cranking the motor, when you have this in like this, there's a spring in here. When you crank, you come back. You can feel that it's locking, that the spring is working in there. So that's good. That's This is good, yeah. The although, weak, the, although it sounds like the spring is broken. Yeah, the weak part on Edison Diamond Disc is a little spring in here for the ratchet paw. And there goes my neighbor Damien and that horrible GT500 loud thing. You notice when you take them apart, you have a short one and a long one. Okay. So you need to remember where they go? Where they, where they go. And the long ones go in the front, the short ones are alignment. And you'll see that 
piece right there. And all you do so is... So the long ways go in the front, front meaning closest... Closest to the, to spring, the spring barrel. And you just jiggle that out. Now how do you know if there's tension on that? See how I can do this with a gear? Yeah. Do it this way? Yeah, something's wrong inside. So that's the first thing, first thing we're going to do now is we're going to put this aside. In the next video, I'll show you how to take this apart and we'll look at the spring. Because if we need a spring, we'll have to order one. And then the rest of this we can clean later. But first thing we're going to do is that. I hope you enjoy the video and that's my tip for the day.